Hello, my name is Sigrid Anderson. I'm the founder of KF Anderson Leadership Academy. I named that after my father. He passed away when I was 30 years old. I owe him so much, so for that reason I named my company after him. This is a masterclass and this is a short introduction to what we'll go through during the three-hour program uh, when we meet later. So welcome, we call it uh, Wishing for Life, uh, Wisdom for Life, and the reason why we do that is because this is something that I have collected over the last 35 years from all the participants, more than 20,000 that I have in my programs over the years. And I learned quite a lot uh, from them, and thanks to all of them, they were giants. Literally all of them, all of them. And there's a few things I'd like to say here first, just for you to make sure that you get this right. First and foremost, I would like to say, a leadership is up here. Um, it's a new word I have uh, engineered uh, many years ago. And the reason why is because I call it the elite practice of leadership. So the elite practice of leadership. I name that as a leadership. Um, the program that we will go through uh, very fast now, just an introduction, um, is what we will go through in details when we meet on the masterclass. First and foremost, um, what we will focus on is your personal personality strengths, and the reason why I do that is because I learned over the, year, over the years that your personal strength is four times more powerful than your professional strengths, whatever you're doing. I call this uh, um, an inner burning point, uh, not to uh, confuse yourself with an external burn, burn, uh, burn, burn point, because an external burn point is a purpose for something. But what you really want and what you really wish and will do comes from inside. And that will do and wish is four times more powerful than the other ones. I learned that over the years and I'll come back to that during the training. So for that reason we'll focus on two kinds of strengths. We'll talk about your personality strengths but we'll also talk about your professional strengths. Another thing we'll do, uh, I'll tell you about is the making of a leader. I learned that um, that's really a heaven learning. It took me really many years to figure out what does it really take. In the very beginning of the start of my company, I had an HR director who, who asked me, what does it uh, take to make a manager above average? I said, I really don't know, but that I know now. I really know what it takes. And uh, that is what something I'll present here, I call it the making of a leader. Uh, is that also making of a manager? Yes, it certainly is, but it's not necessarily the same thing because a manager is not not necessarily focus that much on their personal strengths, more on their professional. But that I'll come back to during the last class. Then I have asked you to uh, um, answer two questionnaires I sent out to you. One of them is me measuring your performance index, so how good are you at performing, valued from your own self. So you do that yourself, it's not your people, it's you. The other thing I ask you to evaluate also is more of something I call self-efficacy. Your self-efficacy, that means one thing, your will and belief to what do you think that you can accomplish here in this world. Very important one. These two things are going to details with that when we meet. Then we'll also talk about uh, how to improve. Uh, I call this six dimensions of intelligence. Uh, each and every one of us have at least 56 facets or dimension of intelligence, but you have never heard about this before, but I call it, I make a metaphor out of that. Any talent is what I call a raw diamond in discourse, because a brilliant is actually a raw diamond. But the difference between the two is that you actually have cut some of these facets of this diamond. And the diamond have 56 facets, so have you. So <clears throat> look at yourself as a brilliant or as a raw diamond, depending on how much you have developed yourself. So this is what we're going through here, and that is definitely how you can improve yourself, that is to screw up and down, turn up and down these uh, facets, these dimensions of intelligence, and put more and more into this. 
This is something I'll go through in details as well on the masterclass. The outcome of all this is that you'll learn to focus on your strengths only to learn and to grow. This is what it takes. So this is about only focusing on your personal strengths. You can still enhance them as much as time passes by. We call it something different when you grow up, but in the beginning of your life, we talk, we talk about learning and growth, the first 12 years of your life. The next 12 years you spend on something that is extremely important. I call this integrity. If you don't know or have learned on your own body what it takes to have a high integrity before you're 24, then it will be very difficult for you to learn later in life. That is a, the, 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 that is the time where you get married, that's the time where you get a job, that's the time where you maybe get promoted, you make a startup, your own company or whatever. Integrity is absolutely key essence. You don't know and you can't read the book anywhere else uh, what is uh, integrity and what, what does it take and how can we enhance that. I can tell you, not because I'm right, but because this is something I learned from all the, my participants, 20,000. One to one, one to 20, one to 100. There I learned that. Another thing that you also have to learn very fast is called inclusiveness, that is that you make yourself responsible for all the relationship that you have. That's one thing. The other thing is that you also, all the people around you in the team that you make responsible, then responsible for making a responsible relationship in between. That's a team. It's not a group of individuals, it's a team. There's a big difference between this, and I'll come back to that as well when we discuss this. Then we discuss here on learning on three different levels. I call it consciousness, <coughs> consciousness here on individual level, team level, and organization level. The important thing is that whatever you do, and whatever you do as a leader, or whatever ideas you come up with, it has to be scalable. It has to be scalable from individual level. It means it counts for you. It same thing has to go to team level and to the entire organizational level. This is three levels of that, uh, of consciousness that you need, uh, that you need to scale up and down as you need them, and that is extremely important, especially scalability. If you have something, for example, <clears throat> we have to be honest in our company. I say, come on, that can never be something that we want to scale. Because this is a problem for recruitment department to get people in that's always honest. That is not a value. But all values has to be scalable, by the way. So your skills, so your strengths. What your company is doing has to be scalable, otherwise it doesn't work. And definitely because we go into what I call building up a strategy that's called grow fast or die slow strategy. And the reason why I say that is because I've seen so many strategies around the world where I can just say one thing, this is not a strategy, this is an extended uh, operational plan. That has nothing to do with a strategy. A strategy is something that if you fail on your strategy, you're finished, you're bankrupt, you could ask for chapter 11. That is what it takes. That's the strategy. Anything else that deviates from that is an operational plan. That will not take you a big step forward, but you'll probably die slow, but that's a different story. So this is uh, what we are uh, discussing at the masterclass. You can book your seat on uh, KF Anderson uh, Leadership Academy slash booking. And um, I hope to see you there so far. Enjoy yourself and I look forward to welcoming you at the masterclass. Thank you very much for now.